Welcome to West Wing Week. Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president heralded the achievement of the whole world coming together to combat climate change. He traveled to the Pentagon and the National Counterterrorism Center to continue the work on securing our nation. And he presided over a very moving naturalization ceremony at the National Archives. That's December 11th to December 17th, or... Uh, my soon to be fellow citizen. citizen. <laughs> this is a good looking group. Uh, clearly they're gonna be making America that much better, right here. On Saturday evening, the President delivered a statement from the Cabinet Room on the historic global agreement reached by the United States and nearly 200 nations to combat climate change, otherwise known as the Paris Agreement. I imagine taking my grandkids, if I'm lucky enough to have some, to the park someday and holding their hands and hearing their laughter and watching a quiet sunset, all the while knowing that our work today prevented an alternate future that could have been grim. That our work here and now gave future generations cleaner air and cleaner water and a more sustainable planet. And what could be more important than that? The work we kicked off with an official visit to the Pentagon. Alongside the Vice President, the President convened a National Security Council meeting on the counter-ISIL campaign. Afterward, the President spoke to the media on the need to intensify our coalition efforts against ISIL to degrade and ultimately destroy that terrorist organization. Tuesday morning was a time for a trip to the National Archives, where the President got to do one of his favorite things, attend a naturalization ceremony. New American citizens representing 25 different countries took the oath and did so within reach of the actual document that makes that ceremony possible the United States Constitution. Just about every nation in the world, to some extent, admits immigrants. But there's something unique about America. We don't simply welcome new immigrants. We don't simply welcome new arrivals. We are born of immigrants. That is who we are. Immigration is our origin story. It's how quickly we forget. One generation passes, two generations passes, and suddenly, we don't remember where we came from. And we suggest that somehow there is us and there is them. Not remembering we used to be them. Later, the People's House served as a stop for Eden's Make-A-Wish scavenger hunt. Eden is battling brain cancer, and first dogs Bo and Sonny gave her a special clue to help her fulfill the wish she made, to meet and ride a unicorn. On Wednesday, the president invited three-term mayor of New York Mike Bloomberg to the Oval Office, where the two men discussed efforts to curb gun violence in America. On Thursday, in advance of the holidays, the President traveled to the National Counterterrorism Center for a threat briefing and to review efforts across our entire government to prevent attacks and protect the homeland. I want every American to know, as you go about the holidays, as you travel and gather with family and the kids open their presents, and as you ring in the new year, that you've got dedicated patriots working around the clock all across the country to protect us all. Oftentimes they're doing so by sacrificing their own holidays and their own time with families. But they care about this deeply. And they're the best in the world. She is precious. You can't be daughters, man. They're the best. 